All right, so it is now time to talk about how to maximize the profit that you ideally should have coming in to your conversion funnel. So again, just to backtrack where we've been, we started off by determining product market fit, by ensuring that your primary core flagship uh, product or service is something that people actually want. Then we uh, created and, and optimized the lead magnet to get a whole lot more leads coming in to really widen the top of the funnel. Then we uh, created uh, a tripwire that would again keep that funnel wide, that would convert as many of the leads into customers as possible. Uh, now that we have these customers, we want to maximize our margin. We want to increase our profit um, because you know that's what this whole section is about. And, and it makes sense, right? This is kind of a crazy idea, kind of a crazy concept. But once you have a buyer, right? Once you have a buyer, it makes sense to ask them to buy something else. So they've come in, they've opted in to the lead magnet. Maybe they signed up for the, the tripwire. Maybe they then uh, took advantage of your core offer, but you shouldn't stop there. And this is why this is so incredibly critical. All right. This is why it is so incredibly critical and, and, and why the funnels that we're building here are so important. The highest cost that most businesses will incur is the cost of acquisition, the cost of acquiring the customer. This very first click, getting people from Facebook or Google or whatever traffic source they're coming from, whatever effort goes into that, whether it's, you know, quote unquote, free traffic, which takes a lot of work uh, and therefore costs a lot of money um, or, or paid traffic, or maybe it's a distributed sales force that they're earning on commission, whatever it is, the cost of acquisition, getting people here, getting them to take advantage of this and move through your funnel. That's the greatest cost that most businesses will incur. So once you have these people, once you have a customer, if you stop there, you're missing out. You're missing out on one of the greatest uh, opportunities to grow your company, which is to make more money from the customers that you already have. Because again, the cost of acquisition has already been incurred. Meaning when you sell them something else, Margin, profit, it just goes through the roof. And that's exactly why we call these types of offers profit maximizers. All right. So more specifically, what is a profit maximizer? Well, profit maximizers, they can be upsells, uh, meaning offering someone something, you know, more of, of what they've already purchased. So offering them an, an add on a bolt on, uh, something that is in addition to the purchase that they made that still leads to the same desired end result. There's also cross sells where you're offering them a related product or service. Maybe it deviates a little bit from the original purchase, but it's at least relevant to the market. Um, it could be subscriptions, uh, access to a club, a community association, or just really any other type of backend offer that increases both the immediate and the lifetime customer value of the customers that you have coming through your door. That's what profit maximizers are all about. And if you're not currently running them, then you're about to see your margin skyrocket. You're about to see your profits skyrocket. And if you are, I bet we're going to be able to show you some ways uh, to increase the profit margin even more. So with that, let's dive in and talk about profit maximizers.